Because the water is so clear, it's obvious that Mississinawa is broken in two. The forward section is lying on its port side, with the deck turned 90 degrees to the sandy bottom, while the after section and the majority of the ship is, is flipped and twisted completely upside down, with the deck pressed hard into the seabed. Dropping down off the forward section, you come into a no man's land, this huge expanse of torn and ripped material, decks, machinery, and it was somewhere in this area that I think the Kaitan struck, detonating the fumes and the remaining aviation fuel that was still inside the tank in that area. This was a cursory dive, a chance to get a sense of the wreck and to get my bearings on the bottom. It was part of the plan that would allow us to systematically work our way through the entire wreck site, eventually eliminating all the possible areas in which a portion of the Kaitan might be found. 